So the first thing that you're going to do to create your line chart, your, um, we're going to create a line chart to compare um, showing the, the change of weather for your city. We're also going to include the weather for Naperville to compare your city that you chose for your vacation um, with our um, weather in Naperville. So you're going to graph both the weather for your city and the weather for, I'll say, Chicago or in Naperville in a line chart. So the first thing that we need is a title for our data set. So we're going to go A to E, click and drag across, and we're going to say Merge and Center. And we're going to say 10 day weather forecast for, and my city is Paris. So I'm going to fill it in and then I'm going to do my column headings, which is date and we'll say temperature. And maybe we'll do our two, our temperature for Chicago and our temperature for Paris. So date, and then this is where the Chicago temperature will be and the Paris temperature will be. Where it says date, I'm going to go ahead and put in, it doesn't matter what date, you can go ahead and just put in today. So 2-12-20. And when I, I want to show you how to use autofill. If you hover over the bottom right-hand corner, you see a plus sign. And we need to track 10 days. So what we're going to do is the computer recognizes that this is a date. And as you click in, you got to make sure there's that black plus sign and drag down, count 10 boxes. So one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And in the bottom right corner, you see the dates changing. It recognizes the pattern and it automatically fills and continues the pattern, which is the date, which is what we want. Um, then you can go to weather.com. So you can go to weather.com and type in, you can do Chicago first. So at the top where it says search city, you can type Chicago, Chicago, Illinois, look for 10 day weather for Chicago, Illinois. And here it tells us you have to pick either the high or low. You can't do both. So I'm going to go ahead and just do the high 37, 22, 15. So when I go back, 37, 22, 15. 34, 39, 38, 34, 39, 38, and I'm just going to quickly, we'll say 28, 29, 32, and 25, just to be fast. I'm going to make them up for Paris. We can go in and look. I want to just show you quickly. So if I find Paris, France is my travel destination, 10 day. Let's try that again. Paris. We'll let it load. Click Paris, France. So now it says 53. The reason why this has a dash is because it's already tonight in Paris. So it doesn't matter the dates. They don't have to match. It's kind of in the 50s. So just to be fast, I'm going to say 53, 55, 52. 51, 48, 48, 53. All right, so now I have my temperature for both cities. Just like we did for the pie chart, you're going to click and drag to select your data set. And then we're inserting a chart, so we're going to go to insert. And we're inserting a line chart. So we're going to go over here where it says charts, and we're going to select line. Now you need to choose... Um, you can't choose these 2D, 3D. Some of them represent different things. You need to either choose um, one of the 2D lines. So this one has points. We don't want, this one says 100%. We're not looking for percentages. So we want to make sure that it shows our actual data. On the left-hand side, we want to see number values, not percents. So we can scroll down. That one's fine. That has number values. I kind of like this plain old one. And then you can go ahead and format your chart title and your details for your chart. 